Hi, in this demo of Form Titan in Salesforce, I will show you how to limit the number of rows in a Salesforce table dynamically. Before we look at the sample form, I want to go to Salesforce and show something. In the account object, I've added a new column called max number of contacts, okay? And I've populated the value 2 for one of the contacts, for one of the accounts, and 6 on this uh, and the other account, okay? And we're going to look at these both accounts on the form, okay? So let's start, let's start with the account with 2. Once I select the account, as you can see, there was an add button, but it disappeared. Why? Because we defined the number 2 for this account, which means it will only show or add contacts up to 2 rows in the table. Okay? Now let's select the other account. And we can see it. He already has six contacts, okay? So the add button does not exist. But let's go to Salesforce for a second and delete one of the accounts. Let's go back. Let's refresh the page, it's the easiest way. Test account. As you can see, now we have five contacts, so we can add another one. So let's add the, the sixth one. Number six, let's call it. Let's not put an email for now. Okay, so number six was added to the table, and look, the add button disappeared. Now let's go to sales to the form builder, and I'll show you how to create that. Let's start with a lookup. Now let's get a Salesforce table. Okay, let's start by configuring the lookup to show us the account object. Add the account ID as the value and the account name as the text. We're done with configuration of the lookup. Now let's change the table fields to first name last name and email okay so far so good let's map the data for this it starts from scratch okay so let's select the object the object will be contact the condition will be I want to see all contacts with the account ID same as the one selected in the lookup object Let's get all records and map the fields to the table. First name, we'll get first name, last name, and email. Now, so far we've done normal, but now we have to do another step, which is the table max rows. Okay, you see that here? So let's select the account ID, and then once we select the account ID, we go to the account and get the max number of contact okay so now this is a dynamic number and it will change okay now all we have to do is save the form and test it okay let's try let's get the test account for start as you can see, we can see six rows here. Let's try and limit it instead of six to four. And save, and let's try to read the form. Test account, now we see four, okay? This is how easy it is to limit the number of rows in a Salesforce table dynamically. Thank you very much.